Welcome everybody, my name is Juan, and today I'm going to show you a little tip that I like a lot. The reason why I like this tip so much is because it has more to do with creativity than anything else. What I'm doing right now is I'm building, building a highlight table, uh, or heat map as some people refer to this, with the years and the months of the Superstore. Nothing too complicated. I'm going to place my profit here in color. Let's make, give it a border so that it's a bit more clear. And now that we're on it, we might as well remove that annoying line on top. And maybe we can use another one. I personally like using this one quite a bit. It's uh, not a huge fan of the tablet flips, I think. Then they look a bit overused. Either way, I have here my highlight table. And what I want to show you is that even though I placed a uh, profit on color, from seeing this is not always obvious if, it, if a profit is positive or negative. Let me show you what I mean. Positive profits are always going to be blue or the color you decide that it is. And the same for negative profits that I have an orange color. But here between the zero and slightly negative, there is some sort of gray area. For example, the one March 2016, uh, just by looking at it, it's not particularly clear to me if it's a profitable month. When I hover over it, it becomes clear. But the trick I wanted to show you is the following. I'm going to create a calculated field called negative profit. And here, I'm just going to point out every type of profit that is negative. So if this, oh, sorry, if the sum of profit is negative, then I don't want this to say negative. Otherwise, I don't want anything. Okay, I'm going to put it in our visualization. And I believe it's going to break, but that's not a problem. I change it from automatic to squares once again. Maybe I center this one. And what I wanted to show you is that right now, for this calculation, I use text. I wrote negative. But there is this really cool trick that is, by the way, for those of you that don't know this web page, it's great. Uh, I think I've learned most of the SQL I know from this web page. What I wanted to show you is here are some emojis. And the cool thing is that these are technically speaking text characters. For example, if I copy and paste any of these ones, I can use them inside of my calculation. Now, the maybe something interesting to highlight is that when you use one of these emojis in the calculation, you're only going to see it in black and white. So you're not going to see exactly the same colors, but I still think that this is a very interesting trick. Simply because even though you could use uh, shapes in Tableau, this trick is nice because when you use a shape, you have to occupy at least one of the axes. But if both of them are occupied, you can always add something in here. And the truth is that if black and white is going to be fine, right now we have like a hand, but maybe it can be something that fits the occasion a bit better. Uh, well, maybe we can pick a volcano. I'm not sure how it's going to render. Okay. Well, it doesn't look like a volcano, but that's, that's more than that. And that was the trick that I wanted to show you. To recap, in Tableau, you can use shapes, as you can see right here, to encode information. But sometimes when the two axes are occupied or when shapes are not compatible to whatever type of visualization you're making, you can add Unicode and ASCII characters into a calculation like if they were normal text. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time.